The member for Kuyong. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's with great sadness I rise to speak this evening on the condolence motion following the death of Sapa Rowan Robinson. Sapa Robinson, 23, was tragically killed on the 6th of June in Afghanistan, where he was serving with the Special Operations Task Group. He is the 27th he is the 27th Australian to lose his life in this difficult and distant conflict. Sapper Robinson sadly leaves behind his loving parents, Marie and Peter. I'd just like to Sister draw to the attention to the member for Kuyong and the members in this place that uh, we've lost quorum, therefore uh, the committee now adjourns and will recommence when there's a quorum present. Quorum being present, I'll call in continuation the member for Kuyong. Mr Deputy Speaker, Sapper Robinson, 23, was tragically killed on the 6th of June in Afghanistan where he was serving with the Special Operations Task Group. He is the 27th Australian to lose his life in this difficult and distant conflict. Sapper Robinson leaves behind his loving parents, Marie and Peter, sister Rachel and brothers Ben and Troy. In the words of his family, he knew the risks of his job and he accepted it. It's harder for us to accept he has been taken from us before his time. But we know he died protecting his mates and doing a job that he loved, a job for which he was greatly respected by the people who served by his side. Sapper Robinson joined the Army in 2006. He subsequently became a member of the 3rd Combat Engineers Regiment and later the Incident Response Regiment based in Sydney. He was on his second deployment to Afghanistan, having been first deployed on Operation Slipper in 2007. His father, Peter, said his son, over his short but full life, had seen his fair share of luck. Quote, he escaped the jaws of a shark while surfing at South Kingscliff Beach and walked away from a motor vehicle accident when he rolled his brother's car. He had been run over by an armoured vehicle and a soldier walking beside him once stood on a homemade bomb that didn't detonate. But this luck, Peter said at his son's funeral, ran out on a hilltop in southern Afghanistan. In the words of his commanding officer at IRRR, he epitomised everything that a special operations engineer can be and should be bravery, mateship, and a willingness to risk one's life so that others may live. These were his qualities, and to a soldier, we aspire to them. The Australian Chief of Army, Lieutenant General Ken Gillespie, put it this way. As a sapper, he led from the front, looking for threats and disabling those devices to keep his mates safe. Mr Deputy Speaker, the death of Sapper Robinson is a tragedy for our nation and a tragedy for his family. His contribution to this vitally important mission of bringing security and stability to Afghanistan is not in vain, nor will it be forgotten <coughs> by a grateful nation, lest we forget. <coughs> 